The debt markets have uh, definitely improved in the last couple of years. Interest rates are low. Uh, everyone is refinancing, uh, or not everyone, but a lot of people. And I'm sitting here with Catherine Burton Gray. She's a senior managing director and head of health care at Red Capital. Uh, Catherine, you've, you've taken over as head of Red Capital's Red Mortgage Capital Seniors Housing Group. Is this an exciting time for you? This is definitely an exciting time, and it's really evident here at the NIC where we're seeing the resurgence of a lot of new, more, new lenders, some old lenders, some old friends and new friends, uh, some new Fannie and Freddie lenders as well, bridge lenders. It's, uh, it's a fun, exciting time. It's uh, telling me that the market's coming back. Are there any new initiatives that you're um, starting at Red as you're in your new role? Well, we had the initiative of a balance sheet, and now we're really taking that to task, where we're really looking at some strategic relationships, some existing customers, uh, some possible new customers, where we're able to uh, take the balance sheet and give them sort of a bridge to an agency, whether it's Fannie, Freddie, or HUD. So well, yeah, and you've always been, I mean, Red has been, been pretty much known as a, as, a, as a big agency firm, That's especially correct. on the Fannie side. Are you going to still go down that path? or? Absolutely. Um, it's a great platform. One of the reasons I did take the job is because it has such a legacy as being, like you said, a Freddie Fannie uh, HUD lender. And uh, I think with my background in bridge lending that it really adds to that whole continuum of financing. When you look into 2013, what would you expect the breakdown of new business between Fannie Fred, um, HUD, and balance sheet lending? You know? Well, that's interesting. Uh, so you're saying in the next uh, six months, what do I think is going to happen? I think that uh, right now, uh, as far as agency lending, the uh, FHA, the HUD lending, has been pretty attractive rates. And so I think at some point that you're going to get that same competition coming up with Fannie and the Freddie. Um, but uh, for basically for skilled nursing, I mean, they really have one alternative for long term within an agency financing, which is the FHA. Um, but I think I'm going to start to see more possibly maybe turnaround situations distressed because, as you well know, we've talked about this, the REITs definitely have been very active in the marketplace. And so a lot of the larger transactions have been taken off the table. So now what we're looking at is we're going down that spectrum and saying, okay, what else is here? Maybe super regional, regional plays, or maybe smaller mom and pop, maybe consolidations, some maybe turnaround repositioning. Uh, construction lending is another, I, I'm starting to see more uh, people repositioning and building out and uh, I have not seen as much construction lending lenders out there, but definitely the, de the demand is definitely there. What about the profile of on the balance sheet side, the, the profile, the kind of borrower you're looking for? I think to use our balance sheet funds really, I mean, those are precious funds, so I really want a strategic relationship. I just don't want to do a one-off, let's uh, do this transaction and then we're done. I really want the relationship of possibly looking at Maybe doing a credit facility where we take a portfolio and what we do is we put it into a mix and as it seasons we can take it out and take it to agency. They can again put another property in and continue this. That's one possibility. Another possibility would be to um, again strategically maybe an acquisition type facility where Maybe they have uh, a couple assets that are not stabilized yet, and so it allows that stabilization and take the portfolio to an agency exit. So I think that's typically what I'm looking for. How about, on the, again, on the balance sheet side, what kind of loan size are you comfortable with doing? Um, you know, that's an interesting question. I, I think my sweet spot would be within the, say, $20, $25 million range. I'm not adverse to doing larger transactions. In fact, we're looking at a rather large transaction. But I think that's a really nice, uh, you know, good portfolio. Now, if it's a one-off, I would say five to seven to ten million dollars is also another mm -hmm. good. So it really is twofold. And Red Capital is um, is adding staff. I, I understand. What are you looking for in terms of? You know, any kind of sector specialty or just uh, just senior housing experience, oh. real estate experience? Well, it, mostly senior housing, real estate experience is what we're looking for. Um, and I'm very fortunate we just had, we just hired two more people. And uh, 
again, because the industry is really good right now, there's a lot of lenders uh, that are looking maybe to switch jerseys. So mm -hmm. we're we're reevaluating, and we want to make sure culturally it's a good fit. And but mostly experienced lenders. And historically, though, Red Red uh, Mortgage Capital has not been a big player in the skilled nursing side. Much more in the senior housing side. Uh, do you think that's going to change, or are you going to stick with your knitting? No, definitely it's going to change. In fact, that's probably my expertise has been mostly for the, I would say for the last 10 years I've been doing a lot of skilled nursing. So I know the other people that we have uh, made offers to and people that are with Red right now are looking at a lot of skilled nursing facilities. Okay, good. So in, in 2013 you're looking to see some of that Absolutely. kind of growing in your portfolio. Of new Absolutely. Okay, yes. great. great. Well, good luck in the new job. And, Thank you. Uh, I'm good, excited. Good luck in 2013. Thanks, Steve. All right. Thanks All right. for sitting with me. All right.